My name's Tony. Potato King, the Spud King, the Spud King himself. Tony Gavani! He's known for his thick hair and bushy brows. You said to me that your genetic community is Sicily. That's right. You're right. My parents both came from Sicily. My father came here in 1953. And I think my mother came here in 57. My father came from the hills, you know, like farming background. You know, they had their, their cows and their sheep and their pigs and their chickens and they virtually lived off the land. His parents' quiet lives were disrupted when Sicily was invaded by Allied forces in 1943. I never forget the way they used to tell me how hard it was. Uh, there wasn't food was a massive shortage, and they didn't know what to expect. So it was, you know they, they they tell me that you know planes used to go over, and you know they, everybody used to go in, in areas where they could have been bombed. But uh, yeah, no, it was pretty interesting what they tell us. At the end of World War II, the Australian government created a migration scheme that saw Europeans settle down under to boost the population. Just before arrival at Fremantle, your first Australian port of call. My dad's cousin, he came to uh, Australia, the country of opportunity. Tony's parents both saw the opportunity for a better life in Australia. Their paths would soon cross in Perth. And when they got here, the first thing was to work, to make enough money to go back but the opportunities they saw in WA for their growing family were too great to leave. They found themselves a home away from home within the Italian community in WA. It's one of the best for us. When, I remember the first day I went to school, I didn't even know there was another language, only Italian. So there I was living in this community and not even knowing that there was another language. We were at home all the time with the family. It was a pretty good life. It was <clears throat> very internal family. They kept their culture and they were Italians. They used to call themselves uh, Italian Australians but they were proud to live in Australia. My mum could make anything out of you know, bringing some food within about half an hour. She'd wrap it up and it was the best thing you'd eat. They made us keep our Italian ways. Helping out at his family market garden as a child, picking potatoes before and after school, sowed the seeds for one of WA's most well-known fresh food empires. In 1998, I opened my first budget store in Beldivers, so WA families could buy fresh produce from our farms at affordable prices. It wasn't fancy, but it was cheap. And Spudshed was born, and the Galati name would live on through his children. Thanks to the gamble his parents took, by coming to Australia for a better life. I'm really proud of them because really the reflection of me is what they showed me. And it was stamina, never give up, work and do your best. And if you do that, if you believe in it, you'll get ahead. And it was that Italian spirit that prepared him for one of the biggest fights of his life a legal battle that would span more than a decade. Tony Galati says demand is so high at his spud shed stores, he needs to grow more produce. But under current laws, he's only allowed to grow so much. And if he wants to sell any more, he has to buy them somewhere else. Giving away mountains of spuds, challenging WA's almighty potato board. It was a Mexican standoff that lasted 15 years. That tenacity you showed for, for such a long fight. <laughs> It really wasn't about you in the end, it was about the whole state. Why was that something that that you, why was it a fight you took on? Because it was something that I believed in, something that reflected that I said a lot of the old uh, migrants that uh, were pushed around by the people that were running the board and they had no education. They were virtually were abused and used and I could see the frustration and then <clears throat> when I became at that age and I was in that firing line as well and I said no I'm not going to give up, <clears throat> this is wrong and that's why I took the fight. The Australian background and the Italian background is what I learnt from them is to work hard 
and never give up and be loyal and uh, yeah, be a family member.